Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi. Well, welcome to today's Building Bridges class. Don't forget to turn on your cameras and change your VUV name to the name you want us to call you. And also, please remember to show your face in your camera. We'll get started in a few seconds. So, so glad everyone got to show up for class today. Well, welcome again to today's class. Today's teachers are going to be me, Estelle, and Dylan. So today we're going to be first doing conversation. Then after that, we will review the homework from last week. Then after we review the homework, we'll start reading a book today. And then if we finish the book, we'll end up discussing what happened. So first, we're going to have a conversation where we have everyone answer. Today's conversation is, do you like summer or winter better and why? I think I like summer better because I can, uh, because there is no school and I can do lots of fun things like go to the beach. How about Dylan? What about you? Uh, I like winter better because that's my birthday. Good answer. So, Coco, can you answer this question? I like winter because I can play snow. Yeah, I really love snow too. I love making snowmen. David? What about you? Um, I like winter much because you know, I can play snow and in the winter there are no mosquitoes. Yeah, summer there are a lot of mosquitoes, so we have to watch out for those. Uh, David, did you have anything else to say after that? No, uh, I, I of say that how the mosquito buzz. Oh, <laughs> that's very funny. Uh, how about Li Xingzhe? Do you like summer or winter better? I like summer. Uh, in, uh, in summer, I can drink juice. Yeah, I love drinking juice in the summer too. My favorite juice is apple juice. How about you? What's your favorite juice? Li Xingzhe? Oh, oh, uh, what is what is your favorite juice? Uh, yes. Oh, uh, 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 like, uh, 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 oh, 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 apple juice. Mm -hmm. apple. I also like apple juice. How about Li Jingyi? Do you like summer or winter? I like summer best because I have some holiday. 
So, did you say some party or some holiday? No. Oh, no? Could you say your answer again, please? I like summer, summer better because I have su free time in summer. Yeah, free time is a good answer. I love how I love being able to do lots of things. How about Marin? Do you like summer or winter better? I like winter because I can play the snow. Yeah, I think Coco also says that she likes playing in the snow. And Rachel, how about you? I like summer better because I like to go to the beach and to swim. Me too. I also love swimming. How about Theodore? Um, I like I like winter because I can play snowman. Yeah, building a snowman is so fun. And Jason, how about you? I like summer because I can eat ice cream. Oh. Yeah, I love ice cream too. So what's your favorite type of ice cream? Um, I like chocolate ice cream. Ooh, chocolate is a very yummy flavor. How about Yan Jing Yuan? So. Do you like summer or winter better? Oh, I like summer. Why do you like summer? I can uh eat cola. You can uh eat cola? Yes. Oh, oh, I think you meant to say drink cola. Yeah, I can drink cola. So here we like to call that Coke. And how about the last person? Is that Leo? Hello? Mm. Uh, the last person, you have like a basketball profile picture. Is that Leo? Mm, well, okay, I'll send them a private chat then. So I think we hit everyone. Okay. All right, now we're going to review our homework. Estelle, everyone here is not new, right? Everyone here is. Yeah, everyone I just called on was here, except for the last person. Okay, so. Okay, so last week we asked you, what are you looking forward to the most? And this can be anything. So we'll just start down the line. Jason, what are you looking for? What were you looking forward to the most this week? Mm, I'm looking for most week. Uh, I don't have homework. Mm, me too, me too. Marin, what were you looking forward to the most? I'm looking forward to the... To... Uh, 
I can play. That's always fun. That's always really fun. Rachel, what about you? What were you looking forward to? I'm looking for my birthday because I can eat the chocolate birthday cake. And when was your birthday? Rachel, when is your birthday? February. Rachel, when? February when? February time. Oh, mine's coming up pretty soon too. Uh, Li Jingyi, what were you looking forward to the most? I'm looking forward to have a trip. Have a trip? Are you going on a trip somewhere? What? Are you going on a trip? No. Oh, you said, did you say treat? I said a trip. Oh, a trip. Oh, where are you going? I don't know. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, Coco, what about you? What were you looking forward to the most? I look. I'm looking forward to the summer ho of uh winter holiday. Winter holiday, which one did you like yeah. the most? Be because because I can play. Mm. And which winter holiday do you, are you looking forward to the most right now? Winter holiday has got has got a spring festival. Oh, that one, hmm, pretty fun. David, what about you? What are you looking forward to the most? David, your mic is muted. Woman Tim Jenny. I'm looking forward to things I like. Things you like? Pretty good answer. Um, that uh, things uh the things can be anything I like. I think it's gonna be anything you like. It's a pretty nice answer. Respect that. Uh, Shido, what about you? What are you looking forward to the most? Mm, my birthday because I can eat birthday cake. Mm, I like birthday cake too. Uh, Li Xinjie, what are you looking forward to the most? I'm looking forward to the new year. The new year? Me too, me too. I'm excited for 2022. And also, and lastly, Yan Jingyuan, uh, what about you? What are you looking forward to the most? Hmm? What are you looking forward to the most? Uh, what do you look uh I don't know. You don't know? That's fine. We don't always know what the future has. All right. I think that's everyone. So. Now we're going to move on to today's lesson. For today's lesson, we're going to be reading a book called Busy's Watch. So as many of you know, this is how we read a book. I or Dylan will read one sentence and we will call on one of you guys to read that one sentence. So um, the teachers will read one sentence and then we will ask a student to read that sentence. Okay, so let's get started. Busy the dog loves his watch. Jason, can you say that? 
Bossy the dog loves his watch. What time of day is it? Asked Kay. Good job. Remember to only read the sentence that I read first. But you did a good job. What time of day is it? Asks Kay. Marin, can you please read that? Okay. What time of day is it? Asks Kay. Very good. Rachel, could you read this part? Tick tock. It's six o'clock. Tick tock. It's six o'clock. Li Jingyi, it's time to get up, says the pup. It's time to get up, says the pup. So, Yan Jingyuan, as you could see on the last page, the dog got up at six o'clock. What time do you get up? What time do you get up? Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm asking you a question. So, what time do you get up? Oh, Yan Jingyuan. What time do you get up? This clock. So same as busy the dog. Nice. Busy can't wait. Why that boy is never late? It's six thirty-eight. Coco, can you please read that? Why that that boy is never late? It's six six thirty-eight. Very well done. Busy jumps for joy. He says, "There's the paper boy." David, could you read that? Busy jumps for joy. He says, "There's the paper boy." Oh yeah, David. Do you also do you know what the word joy means? The one in a box. Um. The things uh, you join with it. Oh, did you say the things you're drawing with? Joy, joy yeah. with it. Yeah. So, what does the word joy mean? It's okay if you don't know. Does anyone know what the word joy means? If you know, please raise your hand like this. Well, I don't see anyone raising their hand. So, joy actually means happy. Kay says, "I'm on my way." I'll see you today at three. Shido, could you please read that? Kyo says, "I'm on my way. I will see you today at three." Very well read. Busy says, "Then you will play with me." Li Xinzhe, could you read that, please? Busy says, "Then you will play with me." Good job. K goes away. It's seven ten. Busy goes inside again. Li Jingyi, could you please read that for us? K goes away. It's six. It's seven ten. Busy goes inside again. Nice job. Now it's nine o'clock. Time for Busy's nap. He dreams about a map. Jason, can you read that?
Now it's nine o'clock. Time for a busy nap. <clears throat> the heat scream about the map. Good job. So, do you know what a map? Ah,、uh, a nap is N A P. Do you know what a nap is? Jason. Textbook. Oh. Ah,、uh, a nap, not a map. The word in a box. Uh, I don't know. A nap is sleep. A nap、oh. 就是小姐的意思。嗯、huh? ，like 小觉。啊、oh, ，Oops. Yeah, and in the <coughs> picture you can see. The dog busy taking a nap. Busy says it's eleven fifteen. Time to dig. Marin, could you please read that for us? Busy says it's um it's eleven fifteen. Time to dig. Good job. Very well read. And oh, also, Marin, in this picture, can you see a stone or a bone? I can see a bone. Yeah. Good job. The bone is in the hole, and he's digging. Busy is digging it. It's not a stone. It's my bone. Rachel, could you please read this part, please? It's not a stone. It's my bone. Very good job. Busy says it's one o'clock. Time for some fun. Yan Jingyuan. Could you read that part? Hmm. Oh, Yan Jingyuan. So, Busy says it's one o'clock. Busy says it's and one o'clock. Time for some fun. Time for some fun. Great job. I'll make that bunny run, Coco. I'll make them bunny run. Good job, Coco. Do you know another word for bunny? Hood. Yeah. Do you know another word in English? Rabbit. Yeah, that's right. Good job. Oh, Rachel, are you raising your hand? Yes. So, do you have something to say? Bunny is little rabbit. Yeah, that's right. Good job. Thanks for the input. Busy says it's three o'clock. It's time to play. Hooray! David, can you read this for me, please? Busy says, "It's three. It's time to play. Hooray!" And do you know what hooray means? Um, too quickly. No, so that is hurry. Hurry does not have an a. This is hooray. Does anyone know what hooray means? Um, like yes. 
Um, kind of. So hooray means shuan hu. So that's what hooray means. Yeah. So you can also say yes too. Maybe you. Uh, maybe it's time to play, and you're like, yes, it's time to play. So that's how yes can be used. Oh, she knows you. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a happy word. You use this word when you are happy. Mhm.、Mm、And that's that's the end of the book. So now we're gonna talk about some of the parts in the book. So first, we need to know what the words we're gonna be talking about mean. The plot. The plot is. Everything that happens in a story, the setting. The setting is the time and place of a story. The characters. The characters are the people or the animals in the story. The conflict. The conflict is the problem in the story.、And、lastly, is the theme. Theme is the lesson of the story. So, so the plot. In the beginning, what characters are there? Does anyone know? Um. Let's see. Yeah, Jinyue, can you tell me what are some characters in the story? Okay, so this is uh, who? 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 And the dog. Very good. Yes, busy and K. So busy was the dog, and K was the girl. Another, some other characters were the paper boy, and the rabbit. The setting. Does anyone know the setting? Coco, what was the setting in the story? Place that it means. Say that again. Set it means is. Are you asking what does setting mean? Yes. Oh, so setting 就是环境。环境是啊，花花园。Yes. In the story, there were many settings. So one was the school, one was the huayuan, another was the backyard and where he chased the rabbit around. But the main one is his house, because that's where he spent most of the time. That's where the book was mainly at. Oh. Still, do you want to do the next one? Yeah. Okay. The next part of the story is the middle. Middle is where the events or the plot happens. Oh, uh, David, can you tell me one thing that happens in the story? The busy chase the bunny. Yeah, that's a good one. I also yeah. Well, do you remember any other events? The busy get the paper from the paper boy. Yeah, good job. Those are two good events. So, these are the things that happen in the book. Busy plays. Busy sleeps. Busy says bye. Busy gets magazine. Busy wakes up. The next part is the problem or conflict. Um, Theodore, can you tell me what the problem or conflict was in the story, and 
This one might be a, a little bit hard. Um, can I go to the story? Yeah. Think about something bad that happens. Or think about something that makes the character sad. Um. So here's where the girl goes away. And this, that's where she leaves the dog. That's where the dog plays. So the problem is something bad that happens in the story. So, or something that makes the characters sad. Um, I'll give you some choices. Do you think uh, it could be, okay, well, the correct answer is K leaves. This is the problem because the dog busy gets sad when K leaves. The ending, the resolution. Li Jingyi, what happened at the end of the story? What? What happened at the end of the story? Uh, the K is uh, come away. Very good. K does come back, but Busy also plays with himself. The word occupies means to make busy or sorry. To be busy. <laughs> so busy is busy. And the ending, Li Xinjie, do you know what happens in the ending? Um, ending is what means? Ending, ending is. Uh, the ending is 结束的时候. Ending is 结尾, 结, 结尾. Mm, 结尾. Mm, 故事的结尾. Uh, I don't know. That's okay. So the ending is when K comes back. Now we're going to talk about some vocab or um, some important words. What? Oh, uh, did someone, oh, Jason, did you say something? What is vocab? Vocab or vocabulary just means words that are a little bit hard. So, uh, vocab words that may be new. So the, so the oh sorry, well no, the okay. first word is watch. Um, Li Jingyi, what does the word watch mean? Watch means the showbiao. Yeah, showbiao. Can you dis? Can you make a sentence with the word watch? I I can help. I can go first. My watch says it's 10 o'clock. So, Li Jingyi, can you make... Oh, sorry. I can know the time for the watch. Did you say you cannot type 
or type on a word? I can know the time for the word. Um, I don't think I understood what you meant. Did you say I cannot time for the watch? Yes. Um, I don't think I know what you're trying to say. Wait, can you say it again? The watch tell me the time. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, that's a good sentence. So good job with that. Oh, oh. okay. Oh. I'll do this one, if that's cool. Uh, number two, joy. Um, Marin, do you know what joy means? Can you remember what joy means? Joy means happy. Very good. It's happiness. Gao xin. Gao xin. So, uh, David, can you make a sentence with the word joy? We joy with science activities. Very good, yes. The next word is paper boy. Mm. Jason, are you there? Jason, do you remember what the word paper boy means? Yinza? Uh, paper boy. Um, well, I like how you take it, the words literally, but a paper boy is actually a boy who delivers the papers. Mm, yeah. So do you know what delivers means? Deliver oh deliver is song. Yes, very good. Yeah, good job. David, I mean, sorry, Jason, do you think you can make a sentence with the word paper boy? Mm, I want to be a paper boy. It works. Good job. Number four, nap. Chido, do you remember what a nap means? Um, things. So the nap is a short sleep. Uh, a xiao qi. Can okay. you use the word nap in a sentence, Theodore? Yes. Um, nap. Short sleep. Can you try to make a sentence? Okay. I have um, sleep. I have a beautiful hair. I have a nap. And... Afternoon. Good job. I have a nap in the afternoon. Very well said. The next word is bunny. So, um, Rachel. Can you? Oh, I think you already told me what the word means like before when we were reading. But could you say it again? Bunny is little rabbit. Right. Can you make a sentence with it? I like the bunny. Yeah, me too. And David, are you raising your hand? David? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. 
So what did you have to say? I want to say uh, what is funny. Oh, as Rachel said, a bunny is a rabbit. A young rabbit. A tootsie. Yeah, I know. Yes, I know. I have I have feed two bunnies. Oh wow, that's so cool. Did you like feeding them? Yes, I do, but they all all died in the uh, in the But uh, they all died. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hooray. The next word is hooray. Uh, Li Xinjie, do you remember what hooray means? Gao xin. So ha joy is gao xin de yisa, but hooray is a word that you use to describe the joy that you're feeling. So gao xin shi ru, you hui shuo zhe yang, you hui shuo zhe yang de zi. Uh, Zhong wen mei yu ge hao, um, is not a good translation, but this is the best we have. So I won't ask you to make a sentence because this word isn't really said in Chinese. But know that hooray is a term used to express joy. It does not mean uh, joy. It's uh, like, yeah. Oh, uh, Li Xinjie, did you have to say something? Sorry. Uh, no? Okay. And your homework today is to use a vocabulary word in a sentence. And next week, we will ask you guys to give us a sentence with it. So, uh, we have a bit of extra time today. I think we're going to go over more the parts of a story. So the parts of a story. Um, we already did this so, one, so this we can just already, skip it. Yeah. And yeah. we did this one too. The setting. Setting is where and when a story takes place. Oh, by the way, we did this PowerPoint before, but I remember not a lot of people were here for that. So we're just going to go over it again. The setting can be location. Location is place. Time of day. Like more time of day is like morning or afternoon or evening. Setting can be time of year. Like seasons. Weather, like sunny and snowy. And here's some two pictures of setting. So Marin, can you tell me the setting of the picture on the bottom? It is this one picture. The blue one. Oh, uh, that's the picture on the top. How about the picture on the bottom? The... It's, it's at the winter, it's snowing. Yeah, good answer. It's winter, it's snowing. It's probably very cold. There's a snowman and there's some trees too. And next person, Yan Jing Yuan, can you tell me the setting of the picture on the top? 
사이즈나. 아, uh, can you tell me, uh, tell me where this picture is? 아, 저거 환경. 那是哪? 플로리다. 플로리다. Florida. Yeah, you can say like a beach, Shatan. This is a beach. Yeah. So characters, characters are people or animals in the story. Things to, about the character to think about. What does the character want? What does the character need? What does the character do to get what they need? How does the character change? And these are character. These are called character traits right here. So these are words used to describe the characters. Example, nice, mean, quiet, loud, or lazy. Let's see. David, can you describe Busy the dog? Busy is a nice... Uh, and, and busy dog. Yeah, he is. It's pretty good. Can anyone tell me who these characters are? You can raise your hand if you know. Oh, I saw David first. So, David, can you tell me who these people are? They are Mickey Mouse. Yeah, that's one of the characters. How about the other one? It's the Mickey Mouse 2. <laughs> Mickey Mouse 2. Good answer. Does anyone know the name of Mickey Mouse 2? Oh, Rachel, yes? Mickey Mouse. It's Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Yeah, good job, Rachel. And I think Jason said it too. So, good job. Mickey and Minnie. Next is conflict. Conflict is the problem in the story. There's lots of conflicts. Man versus self. You don't know what to do. Man versus man is when you have a problem with another person or character. Man versus nature is a problem with nature. Here are some pictures of conflicts. So, David, the first picture, the one on the left, can you tell me the type of conflict you think that is? The first one is the first type, man with self. Great and, job. Uh, the next one is man with man. The third one is man with nature. Great job. You got all of them right. Theme and lesson. Theme. What the story is trying to teach you. How to figure out the theme with questions. So these questions you ask to figure out the theme. What did the characters learn? Did the characters change? What did the characters think? Some examples of themes are never giving up. Family is important. Being nice. And that's it. Can anyone give me an example of the theme from the book that we've read today? Let's see. Coco, can you try to think of a theme from the book today? I can. I think uh, family is important. It's a very good theme from the book today. Yes, Busy and his owner are family, and they were very well connected. So family is very important. Good job. We finished the lesson for today, and now it's time to play a game. So let's play Hangman. Does 
Any does anyone not know how to play Hangman or you don't remember? I think everyone was there when we explained how to play it. But just as a reminder, there's one person thinking of a word, you will write the letters of the words into lines on the screen. And then everyone else will try to guess the letters. And yeah. So I think we left off on the or actually, let's do this. Whoever raises their hand first will get to go first. Ready? Okay, you can raise your hand. Oh, I saw Rachel's hand go up first. So, Rachel, do you know how to draw on the screen? Mega head. Do you know how to draw on the screen like this? Um, no. No. I know. Um, I know. So, wait, David, can you tell me how to annotate? Because I think it looks different for me. Um, click the, uh, you, you first, you <coughs> should, um, you let your, uh, send a young, uh, by to be a home long is that a whole true like these and a good by so the tells the only very good in your, you only very good who don't see to get negative curry. So Rachel, did you understand that? Yeah. Like this, then you can draw like this. Nice art. Oh, Rachel, I see that you have drawn some things. Okay. Okay, everyone, let's let Rachel draw her word. So if you drew something before, can you please erase it or clear it? Okay, there. Um, Rachel, have you thought of a word? Rachel, have you thought of a word you want us to guess? Do you need help thinking of a word? If you need help, I can send you a word in the chat. Uh, Rachel, do you have a word? Apple. Oh, when you have a word, make sure not to say it. So you will want to draw the amount of letters that it has. Like if you wanted to do apple, you would do A, P, P, L, E. One line is one letter. And then we will try to guess the letters. So don't tell us the word because we will try to guess that ourselves. Okay. And make sure not to draw on the screen if you're not Rachel. Rachel, do you, did you think of a word? Yes. You can draw the lines on the screen for the letters. And Jin Yuan, please do not draw. Three letters. Oh, sounds fun. So if anyone has, if anyone wants to take a guess on a letter, you can raise your hand like this and I will call on you. 
David? I saw David raise his hand. David, do you have what? a guess? Oh. Yes? Oh. If you want to guess a letter, please say it out loud. And remember... She. Oh. She. Um, let's try to guess letters first before we guess words. So if you want to guess a letter, just say it. And then Rachel will tell you if it's correct or if it's wrong. So David, do you have a letter? Have one. Uh, it is she. Oh, let's try. Letter she. Zumu. So, do you have a letter to guess? Maybe. Yes. H E. So, do you want to try H first or E? That is three letters, David. We're looking for one letter right now. So, can you pick one of those and give it to us? S? Okay. So, Rachel, Rachel, is there an S? Yeah. No S? Okay. Did someone say T or P? I have one. Oh, I think someone said P. I have one. Marin, was that you? Okay, David, uh, you can go next if no one else has something. Did someone say P, like pie? No. I said R. Uh, R? David, let's let other people finish talking first. Thank you. Uh, Marin, did you say T? Marin said T. Okay. Rachel, is there a T? Mm. E-D. E-D. Good job, Marin. There is a T. So, yeah, David. Dean, you're in. I saw you had a... Oh, never mind. Sorry. Oh. So, David, now that Marin's done, you can say your letter. Can you guess a letter for us, David? A. David, are Art. you good? Oh. So, remember, please try to guess letters like A or R. So, you can just say A and see if you're right. Well, Rachel is a uh, David. Can you guess a first? So you can just say a. A. Okay, Rachel is a correct. No. No. Oh, so Rachel, you can draw another body part. Okay. Um. Anyone else have a letter? You can. Yeah, you're at. I, I earlier heard you have a guest. Do you have a letter? I have one. What is the letter? Oh, that was David. Oh, well, David's... R? R? Yeah, Junior, I said R. Rachel, is there an R? No. No R? Okay, remember, if we have a guess, uh, we'll ask you guys if you have guesses, mm. and you can guess. Mm. Oh, someone said mm. N. Oh, N, David says N. N. <coughs> Rachel, is there an N? No. No, no, no N. N. Oh, Marin, I saw you write something. Do you have a guess? It's you. Rachel, is there you? a U? No. No? Wow. It's a hard word. Mm -hmm. E. B. B or E? B. E. B. B. Rachel, is there a B? No. No B. 
Oh, Jason, did you how have this too? I saw you. How about Jason. C? How about C? Yes, oh um, David, let's let other people have a turn too. Jason, did you have a guess? No. Okay. Mm. Anyone else have a guess? Mm. Nobody else has a guess. Yeah, I. Yes. Someone said I. Rachel, yeah. Rachel, is there an I? No. No, I. No, I. Um, did someone say something? No. Any is the more? word in cat? Is the word cat, Rachel? Yes. It's cat? It's cat. Oh. Like mall? Yes, the cat. Oh. Oh, I think we actually guessed A already. Oh. Well, that's okay. You guys got the word, so good job. And I think that's all we can do to, for today. Thank you, everyone, for coming to class, and I'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.